Well, what's really uh, fun about this show is that, you know, in the Marvel movies, we get to see a lot of high stakes events. You know, the universe is going to end. Everyone <laughs> in existence is going to go away. But uh, but what happens in between those events? What happens on a regular Tuesday when you just have to do laundry? That's really kind of the slice of life that this show yeah, kind of someone... explores. Show me your match your profile. No. <gasps> Jennifer. Nice. Oh, my God. We're not using your corporate headshot as your profile photo. Oh my god, are you swiping? <laughs> yes, of course. Come on, it's a numbers game, all right? Oof, hetero life is grim. This is the show of legal yeah. paperwork, yeah, which right. we knew is what the MCU fans were screaming for. Nobody was asking for this, my dear. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another video. Welcome to the channel where we talk a lot about politics as well as the entertainment industry because you all know that the entertainment industry is driveling with a lot of politics. And She-Hawk is no different from the other woke programs that we've been seeing from Hollywood pushing woke feminist agendas for political reasons, like I always say. But I'm not going to get into the political reasons on this video. I just want to show you guys the irony and the hypocrisy behind the whole uh, Disney Hawk show. As you all well know, this show has been all about badgering man, toxic masculinity, telling people that men are just evil and women are just good. This is the show that literally compares the trials and tribulations of a man who almost got killed by his father, experimented on and watched his father kill his mom, and as well as try to keep an enraged monster and use that enraged monster to help the exact same people that hunted him down, chased him down and tried to kill him. They try to compare all of that and more to a woman getting catcalled in the street. When incompetent men explain my own area of expertise to me, I do it pretty much every day because if I don't, I will get called emotional or difficult. So I'm an expert at controlling my anger because I do it infinitely more than you. Mansplaining and catcalling are infinitely worse than what this man went through. Brilliant, brilliant, just brilliant. Right, yeah, sure. So women can just do anything. As a result of this, I'm pretty sure that the next clip that I'm about to show you guys that Disney would not want this getting out to the public as much because already the show is a dumpster fire and what they're pushing is just the absolute total ridiculous opposite of reality. So I'm gonna show you guys in a bit exactly what I mean, but before I do so, if you are yet to do so on this video, please smash that like button because it's massively, massively important. And if you're yet to do so as well, and if you you're new please do consider subscribing and with that out the way without further ado let's check out this video now shall we well, it's funny um i've been seeing people post this um uh, she hulk tiktok uh videos but a lot of people still haven't realized that she hulk was played by a man <laughs> you ready watch this Yes, motherfuckers, that's me. <laughs> well, hey. All right, just in case you were not too convinced by that, here's more proof of what this guy was talking about. So, infinitely more than you, huh? infinitely more than you she couldn't even play she hawk by herself and they couldn't even get away from men to actually play the role of a woman so i'm pretty sure this dude was the stunt double to she hawk and played all the hard bits even though they want us to think that men oh man women can play this thing better than men are that women are just infinitely better than men this show is an absolute dumpster fire episode 4 was absolutely ridiculous in my opinion as she hawk faces her toughest battle yet modern dating i'm pretty sure you asked for that all of the marvel fans in the entire world this is exactly what we wanted to see see she hawk face modern dating problem absolutely that's what we wanted to see we had been waiting for this i wish there were parts of this series that all parts of this episode that were actually funny wherever she hawk was involved but the only refreshing part of this 
episode four was when Wong showed up and they needed Wong to show up to kind of save it because they needed a man to actually save the show of She-Hulk. Anyways, you guys, it was just unrealistic. The way they pushed the whole thing, she was trying to get a date uh, um, and she couldn't and her dating profile, nobody was actually swiping on it. Even though the dating profile looked pretty much all right. I mean, I've seen worse. I've seen worse. I mean, she looked pretty all right, but she couldn't get a single date, not one. So she joined up to this uh, dating site called Match. You know, that would be the She-Hawk version of Tinder, probably because of co copyright purposes or whatnot. And, um, or they don't want to advertise Tinder, obviously. So, <laughs> so um she couldn't get one single date i think eventually when she got one it was kind of like a jerk as usual as expected and then she had to turn into the she hawk to get a lot a lot of dates this is very unrealistic because when it comes to us men let me tell you how men how most men swipe on twitter now first of all when you're new to twitter you're really confident you think oh you look good you swipe this way like mm, 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 nah don't like that one Nah, not like that one. Yeah, this one's all right. Mm, let me read the profile. Yeah, you got time for all that. After about a month in there and your confidence starts to deplete, which is what happens to most men. I'm talking about 95, good 96, 97% of men. I'm just telling you now. Well, the swiping starts moving this way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. Telling you reality. I'm not trying to like beat about the bush telling you reality. Now, I had this friend who happened to be big boned and she showed me a Tinder profile one time and this is coming from a woman's perspective and she told me, look, every time I swipe right on Tinder, I actually match uh, every time, like or every other time. And I was like, nah, there's no possible way that that would happen because I had to do a lot of swiping before I actually get the match. But she did it right in my presence and she started swiping right. And every time I kid you not, she swiped right she always had a match or at least for the most part maybe after every three matches maybe the next right she would swipe she wouldn't get a match but after every three swipe and that's how easy it is for women and women you can back me up on this how easy is it for you to get a match on tinder i mean i think most women are actually sick of how many people they get to match with and they're the ones that actually take their time to check out profiles and see if they actually want to match with this or don't want to match with this because us men we just go zoom 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 so the reality is just not matching what these people are trying to push with this show hence why this show is still an absolute dumpster fire and still sits at an abysmal 40 percent with the audience score because there's nothing realistic about this show there's nothing funny about this show and the message that they're trying to push they're not even actually being able to push that in a correct manner feminism i'm not really against it but the way they are pushing it modern day feminism it's just evil, man. It's just evil. It's bad for women and it's bad for men. It's messing things up for everybody. But anyways, you guys, let me know what you think about this. The fact that the sheer irony that She-Hawk is being played by a man after they told us that women are infinitely better than men and actually being better at She-Hawk than men are. But still, they couldn't get away from a man helping them play She-Hawk. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, ding that bell for notification, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care, peace, and size out of here. Bye-bye. <laughs>